We've heard the album. We love it. I was just singing One Margarita in Rhea's face <laughs> all, all morning all, long. All morning. Because it's just one of those songs where once you get, to, like, you, you hear it for two seconds, it's stuck in your head all day. <laughs> It, it's it's great. So what's it what's going on with the deluxe version? What can we expect from that? Well, yeah, I mean, um, with with when Born Here, Live Here, Die Here came out, we were originally going to put it out last April, and okay. then then obviously with the pandemic and everything, we're like we're like you know it's probably not the you know not the best you know not the best look right now. So we. We, we put it off till, till August, but we did decide to put out one margarita for the summer. And, you know, we even like, I mean, some people, you know how everybody is quick to judge about what you're doing during the pandemic. But, you know, I was like, well, people still are drinking margaritas out there and everybody <laughs> still wants to have yep. fun. So, yep. so we put that out, but, uh, and, and, but I had, I had recorded like, two or three extra songs that, that didn't make the original. And then I had written some songs that I really, really wanted um, everyone to hear. And then I found a couple songs too. So, I mean, when you're, when you're uh, in quarantine, just drinking beer all day and you're not up anything, you know, so you're listening to songs and trying to find songs. So, um, so I was able to put some songs together, but I didn't want to wait, you know, like, sometimes album cycles take a couple years so i felt like i got some songs i really love they really round out the album nicely so i was like hey let's uh let's put six songs out there and i think you know in the modern climate of music i mean i think fans are so accustomed to you know artists giving them new music you know quite quite frequently so i was like let's put these out and get them rocking so uh we're excited to have them out and glad to glad to have this coming out yeah, people are really excited for it because what, once you get like something that's kind of back to back like that in a short yeah. period of time, everyone is so excited. Like, well, we, how, we, what did we do to deserve this? Like, he's giving us more. <laughs> well, you know, and I think fans, um, I mean, the way people get music and listen to music change, you know, when you when you hear a new song by somebody like, you know, it's on your phone right then. And then if you love it, you can play it. I mean, you know you can just play it out already. I mean, you can, in a week, you're, you know, a lot of people have already like, all right, I've heard it all I can hear. <laughs> and I know all the words. What's the next thing they got coming? So I think, yeah. I think, you know, this day and age, you know, in the world where everybody's, like I said, on their phone constantly and there's new info coming at them all the time. I think um, fans these days just want new music coming as much as they can, you know, and they'll pick the songs. They'll pick the songs that they really like and really gravitate to, to kind of be in their playlist in the world and the songs that they don't really like, you know, they'll, they'll just, you know, it, it's, it's an interesting dynamic. I mean, I, I just like being able to put new music out and uh, getting reactions from people. Mm, definitely. Yeah. And what's, yeah. what's the recipe for you for like creating just a really catchy song that gets stuck in people's heads. Like Fran was saying she was singing the song all, yeah. all morning. Alcohol, women, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all Trots. of the vices. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, my recipe is um, is just try to have fun. Yeah. You know, now, I can't, you know, every song for my whole career can't be about partying and stuff, you know <laughs> I mean? It, it you know, I've, I've done a lot Some of those. Some of the best but, ones are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, with me, um, it's pretty funny. You know, when I write a song, um, the first thing I do is, like, I watch everybody around my house, like, with, like, I got two boys, I got a, 12 year old and a 10 year old. And when they're, you know, most 99% of the time when I'm listening to my new music, I'm listening in my truck going down the road. And so um, they're listening. And then the songs that they really gravitate to, sorry, there's a fire truck going by. <laughs> it's okay. We can't hear it. You're good. But uh, so the songs that they really gravitate to, I'm like, because they'll insult me. Like they'll be like, dad, I, I don't really like the way you sound on that song. But I was I just like going to ask like, how they treat you. <laughs> yeah, they don't even know that they're being, uh, you know, they don't even under, they don't even understand that they just they just totally trashed one of my songs. They just <laughs> they're just listening like kids. Yeah. But then I have two nieces, mm. and uh, I've got my two nieces that are like they're twenty five and twenty two, and uh, so then I bounce songs off of them because you know they're like. 
they're in the clubs and they're, you know, they're in the college, the college world. So if, if uncle Luke can give them a song that really is catchy for them, um, that fires them up. And then like with my latest single down to one, that was a song that Caroline really, really loved. We were on the boat this summer and she was like, that needs to be your next single too. So she really, and she really championed that one. Yeah. Yeah. So just getting a lot of feedback from people in your family. Yeah. I mean, and then I've got a whole circle of like people that, you know, that I work with my band, my, my crew, all my folks within my management, they're giving me info too and, mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So you just kind of sit back and watch people's reaction. If nobody reacts to it, then, you know, nobody really, you know, nobody really likes it. But like, Second, I played one margarita. Everybody was like, "Yep, <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be big." <laughs> it's a hit. Yeah. What? Uh, as Uncle Luke, do they make you like <laughs> make videos for people? Are like, "Oh, my friend is like a really big fan. Can you like make a video saying hi?" Like, what's the treatment towards Uncle Luke? Oh, uh, constantly. <laughs> <laughs> which is fine, you know. I mean, uh, my nieces, they're. Which I mean, everybody has fun. I mean, my parents are the worst because they're like, you know. <laughs> yep. Like, don't forget where you come from. Mm-hmm. You know, you need to. My dad, God, he 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 sends me just random video requests all the time. But you know, <laughs> the fun thing with my nieces, you know, if we're if I'm around them and one of their girlfriends has got a birthday, we'll Facetime and I wish them happy birthday. But they're pretty, you know, we're we're pretty chill about all that. We we have fun with it all and and um, really don't overthink that. I, we, you know, anybody in my circle and. When somebody calls me up and they're like, hey, will you send so-and-so? Like, literally, before we got on, I just did one for my videographer. He had a – he had a, a – one of his girlfriends was turning um, – um, you know, she had a birthday, yeah. so I just gave her a little birthday shout-out. So I'm doing that all the yeah. time. So, so it doesn't bother me if the nieces do it. 